Welcome back guys, it's Joe Pacinto here. So welcome to the channel for the new viewers. And we today, we're going to speak today about how did COVID-19 change the karate environment? How did it change our physical dojo, Born and Dragons? And how we adapted to the whole situation. So keep on watching. Number one, number one was the whole thing about doing online classes and physical classes. So now currently we're doing both. Our classes are all live streamed, so all the students at home can still keep on training with us. And of course the students that come to the dojo can also train. So it's a whole different scenario where we stream our classes live and we can physically train as well. Number two is instead of two classes, we're actually doing three classes. So we're doing an intermediate, a beginner's class, and an advanced class. So our intermediate classes are normally green belts and up. Beginner classes, of course, white belts. And then our senior class or our advanced class is all the brown belts, black belts, and up. Number three. Number three is actually doing this right now. What I'm doing is speaking online, doing tutorials, getting our YouTube channel all the way set up and ready to run and and getting our content up there. So that's number three, doing some tutorial online uh, videos and getting some content out there. Number four, number four would be probably the most important thing is adapt to the situation. So we were currently in a lockdown, so we can't be at the dojo. We had to adapt quickly. It's like karate, it's like the lifestyle, adapt and persevere, just keep on pushing. So it was the same thing here, we adapted, we made new content, we made content for our students, we made a whole tutorial or a list of content that can, they can actually use at home and they can train on their own time. Number five would be of course to encourage students to train more at home than actually at the dojo. At the dojo you got 45 minutes, at home you got few hours. So you can train way more than at the dojo. So that was the five things that we changed or our mentality changed in our karate dojo that we keep on moving and keep the karate spirit alive. So please guys put the comment below. I want to find out what did change in your karate environment or your karate dojo that we can keep it going and keep the karate spirit alive. Give us some ideas that we can use to get students engaged online and obviously at the dojo. So I hope to see you guys soon and keep safe until next time.